We have a tagline where we say, you make skin look good, not the other way around. When it comes to perfect skin, Alamade Olaway knows there's no such thing. The entrepreneur is debunking that myth with her skincare brand, Topicals. Who is Topicals for? We primarily target people with skin conditions because they have been outsiders in beauty. The brand targets what Alamade calls itchy girls and spotty hotties, women and men with conditions like hyperpigmentation, eczema, and ingrown hair. But she says unlike other multi-step products, Topicals is simple. The core of your line is four products. So take me through sort of how you came up with that process and why you feel that delivers the results. I think most skincare brands want to sell you a routine. And we didn't feel like our audience necessarily needed a routine. They needed a power-packed solution for their skin condition. The idea for the brand came from Alamade's own struggles with her skin that made finding treatment and a dermatologist as a black woman difficult. I grew up with a ton of chronic skin conditions, things like ingrown hairs and boils, things that a lot of people didn't really talk about, especially during the teenage years. Tell me emotionally what it was like for you, because I remember being called pizza face and crying, and just 10 years old, it's, it's so hard. Yeah, I remember crying. My little sister also has eczema, and I remember her missing school events like homecoming and field trips because her flare-ups were so intense. Then, as a pre-med student at UCLA, she worked on a small skincare line to learn about the industry. Working there, learning about product development, gave me the courage to think that I could start something connected to my own personal experience. Instead of going straight to medical school after graduation in 2018, Alamade started Topicals. She spent two years pitching her idea of a science-based skincare line to more than 100 investors, posting her personal journey on Instagram. Investors seem to really like what we're doing um, and are really excited about the concept and the fact that it's a blue ocean space, um, but it just feels like it gets cut off there. You're not a chemist, so when you first set out to do this, I'm sure there was pushback saying, how are you going to make these products? Exactly. I think people gave me credit for the fact that I was pre-med at UCLA and that I love to read academic journals on the weekend, but it was a ton of pushback around how you were going to make a product, especially a product for skin conditions that are typically considered medical. How are you going to make something over the counter right. that was going to compete or perform on par with prescriptions? Alameda they worked with a team of dermatologists to develop and test formulas that work for varying skin tones. When the brand launched in 2020, it sold out at both Nordstrom and Sephora. The sample is all out. People have like used this thing all the way up. Part of the brand's success, its colorful design, fun Gen Z social presence, faded under eye masks, and a cast of relatable models with imperfect skin. And Topicals gives back too. We've donated over $100,000 to different mental health organizations because people with chronic skin conditions are two to six times more likely to experience depression and anxiety. And Olamide is encouraging others to turn their pain into purpose. What is your advice to other entrepreneurs? I think that we have so many lives inside of us and I think that's what we have to start to think about is thinking about life as just a series of events and not necessarily as this destination. But I think we have to be okay with failing and we have to be okay with trying different things and living different lives. Mm. She's really awesome yeah. and really lived a lot of chapters already. And last year, Olamide was named the youngest black woman to raise over $14 million in venture capital for Topicals. That number is now up to $15 million. Wow. And this is a historic feat considering black women entrepreneurs account for less than 1% a venture capital earning. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. And she, she's like, you know what? I don't care. Yeah. She goes in, as many no's, she says, get as many no's, because in that, the probability-wise, you'll get a yes. Right, exactly. And I loved that. And so here are some of the, the, the um, products. products here. What I love about them is she's not saying buy into the whole line. She's saying, right. what's your issue? And then we'll address it. And there okay. are other girls on social media so that you don't feel alone. Like I was telling you earlier, I grew up with really bad skin. And it's embarrassing. It's hard yeah. enough being yeah, a, kid, a kid, let alone yeah. having yeah, bad so skin. So, so like if you have like dark you spots or scars or... Ingrown hairs or you get like, you know, breakouts or whatever. She has something for each of those issues. That's and great. they're fun and they're relatable and other people tell their stories. So... That's um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Kudos to her. Oh, and by the way, uh, you know, I love this. You mm -hmm. can catch a whole half hour filled with great She Made It stories this morning on our streaming channel today all day. Tune in at 10 Eastern on Peacock or your smart TV. Excited I about that. I love it. I love it. Good job, too.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.